switch on my flow I'm getting money, but I want more Yeah, yeah Drip too hard when I come through Black beans cool when I'm sunroof How you a boss, you don't own Welcome back to my channel, it's Viva La Pink Posh, and for those of you who are new here, welcome! Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video to get you some free information to grow and excel your business. So we're gonna hop right into this video. Today's video, I feel like it needs to be done because there are so many new businesses, there are so many people opening businesses, so I think this video is super duper crucial like i really think you guys need to uh, um watch this video and just absorb all of this information that i'm throwing at you guys absolutely free i do ask that you guys subscribe to my channel subscribe to my videos and hit that notification button and become a part of the notification gang so you would never miss one of my videos also subscribing helps me watching my videos helps me and also sharing my videos helps me i am I'm giving you guys this information for free and it does take time to produce these videos out so that's all that I ask that you share this video with a fellow business owner also you're helping them out so yeah we're gonna hop right into this video so as always you guys know I have I always come prepared with the notes that's why I have my YouTube planner and of course this is available on my website link in the bio if you're interested in purchasing one of these if you're a fellow youtuber or even if you want to get started and I also have business planners okay so hopping into this video okay so today's video is going to be about fighting chargebacks with Shopify so I do use Shopify as a host so I'm speaking on Shopify I'm not aware how other platforms work so today we're specifically speaking about chargebacks and how to fight them if you're using um, Shopify. You could probably use this also if you're using another host. So it's just pretty much information that you need to know when you're a small business, you will encounter chargebacks. So what chargebacks are, it's when a customer goes on your website and they complete a purchase. Okay, so they complete their purchase, you ship them their items, and then what they will do, most of the time it is fraud because there are so many scammers out, there's so many scammers nowadays. So they're gonna call their bank and say something, it could be anything, oh, I didn't want this product, oh, I didn't approve this purchase, and then the bank is going to submit a chargeback. Why chargebacks are bad for us is because not only are they taking back the money from the product. So if my product was $50, they're going to take back that $50. And they're also going to include a chargeback fee. Shopify's chargeback fee is $15. So you're going to get the $50 charge on top of $15 if you lose this chargeback case. Uh, first, I'm going to start off telling you guys how you can just avoid chargebacks from the get-go. So the first thing you want to do, this is an option. I'm not saying that you absolutely need this. So the first option is going to be uh, enable for your packages to be signature signed. So when the person gets their package, when your customer gets their package, they're going to have to sign for it. You cannot lie and say you didn't purchase that if you sign for it. Like you sign for it, you signed your name, your signature. So obviously you purchased it. You agreed to that purchase because you signed it so those cases are super duper easy to win so that's why I recommend you guys to do a hand signature confirmation with USPS again this is just a recommendation you don't have to do this okay so the second thing you're gonna do is clearly state your item descriptions you're gonna clearly state the policies and you're gonna clearly state the processing time so this clears up any confusion everything will be on your website and if they dispute it the bank can easily view that also include your shipping and your processing time so that people know clearly when to be expecting their products before they purchase stop so while I have your attention now don't forget to subscribe to my channel It's absolutely free and it supports me so back to the program so the third thing you're going to do, probably the most important thing, is that Shopify has a fraud analyst and it pretty much goes through every order. Like when an order is placed, it will tell you, oh, this is high fraud. So it's up to you to approve all of those transactions. If you don't want to approve high fraud orders, you can always just refund them, cancel them 
what I would recommend is that I've written something down. I'm going to have the link to what I've written for you guys to send to people when you get a fraud, like when you get the fraud alert and it's high, you can send this. What I'm going to show you guys is written out. All you have to do is pretty much customize it and you can send that to the customer. It's basically you telling them to verify that they are who they say they are. You'll probably ask for the driver's ID just to verify who they are. So when you have a small business, you are going to encounter people who are just rude and don't want to cooperate with you at all. Even though you have your refund policies, you can send them the refund policies and they still won't cooperate with you. Um, most of the time, just give them a refund or a partial refund because you don't want that on your business like name. You don't want any bad transactions or the way people are now, they will like threaten to blast your company online. And for a few dollars, you can just refund them or give them store credit, which I would recommend store credit and they can just get something else. And you guys could come to some kind of conclusion where the person is not pretty much like tarnishing your business name so most of the time when you get a chargeback these people will not email you like you will not know you'll just get a notification saying a chargeback was submitted and you'll be like what the heck this person didn't even email me they didn't complain or anything i know that's happened to me numerous times so most likely that's how it's going to happen to you you're not going to know so this video is definitely going to help you now that I've touched everything on my in my notes, pretty much those four steps will help prevent you from getting chargebacks, but sometimes they are unpreventable. So I created a template for you guys. When you get a chargeback, you're going to be asked if you want to accept it or if you want to dispute it and submit your evidence. So I created a template for you guys that is going to be linked in the description it's going to be named as chargeback template i put it on my website for you guys to download this is pretty much everything you're going to include in your chargeback and providing the evidence and exactly what you're going to say you're pretty much just going to customize it to your chargeback number the customer's name and the customer's information but this template is everything that you're going to need to fight and win your chargebacks. No is not guaranteed that you're going to win. But a lot of times with these chargebacks, the banks don't actually look on your website or go to USPS and input the tracking number. They don't have time to do that. A lot of times they don't. So if you're providing all this information for them, it's less work for them. So they will more likely not all the time, but they will more likely rule in your favor and you won't have to lose out on money because as a small business it's hard. Like if you're getting charged back $50 and then you have to pay the, the fee from Shopify, which is $15. That's a lot of money when you're a small business and we can't be losing out on money like that. And I just don't think it's fair, especially if the person is not communicating with you, if they're not emailing you or if they didn't even tell you they had a problem with the order. I don't think that's fair. It's fraud and people are scammers. It's just horrible. <laughs> So this template is for you guys to download so you know exactly what to say. So the main goal is for us to win the chargebacks and not have to lose out on the money. That's why I created this template to make things easier for you guys. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope I touch every subject of chargebacks. We have the template which is in the bio of pretty much what to write to beat the, the chargeback. And then I'm also going to include what to write when uh, your orders are marked as medium fraud or to high fraud. And you could just send that to the person. It just requests them to send you more information pretty much to verify that they are who they say they are. So later on in the line, you're not going through the whole chargeback situation. It's just to prevent things from happening. So proper planning prevents piss poor production and we don't want poor production. These chargebacks hurt our businesses. So the main focus is to not have them happen. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope this, 
that'll not really help. <laughs> I really hope this video is able to help some of you guys win the chargebacks and save your company some money and just save you the stress all around because I know it can be very stressful when the person doesn't even like contact you and you don't know what's going on. They're just submitting a chargeback is completely bizarre to me. So yeah, till next time guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Love you guys. Stay productive. Stay positive. Peace and much love. Bye.